Hey guys, it is Danny, and welcome to this updated video on the tropics. And so, in this video, we're going to be talking about our tropical storms Grace and Fred, as well as a disturbance with the potential to become our next name storm Henri, maybe tomorrow or so. But before I go into details. <laughs> Okay, and so let us kickstart things with Tropical Storm Fred. So as of right now, uh, looking at the satellite view right here, we're seeing that Fred is looking quite disorganized still. It is getting back in shape because, of course, it was passing over some land areas of Greater Antilles, which caused the system to weaken and become very, very disorganized. But now it is starting to get in shape as it feels from the warm ocean waters of the Gulf of Mexico. And so it is in a conducive environment to enable a bit strengthened before it makes landfall along the gulf coast and it is going to be bringing tropical storm like conditions hence we have some watches and warnings that are in place so now let's go on to the national hurricane center's cone forecast and so here we have it and we actually have a tropical storm watch that is in effect for the most westerly side of the florida panhandle and we have a tropical storm warning extended for most of the florida panhandle so if you're in any of those areas you can expect a uh, tropical storm like conditions beginning maybe by tomorrow on monday so strong winds heavy rainfall uh, even that storm surge as well but the main problem is going to be with the expected flooding as a result of the rainfall so you want to sure that you're not in a low-lying flood prone area and that you are not near the coastline guys so it's best to be in a very safe location to avoid being in any situations as a result of fred as it is going to be making its way by but fortunately it is expected to dissipate by tuesdays we head on to the middle part of the week so it should become post tropical by then but it is going to be bringing that rainfall into portions of the southeastern u.s so alabama uh, the northwestern section of Georgia and even Tennessee can expect tropical storm-like conditions from Fred along with Florida. And so please take those precautions and stay safe as I said earlier. So fortunately, Fred is not expected to strengthen into a strong tropical cyclone. It is forecasted to remain a tropical storm as it's going to be making landfall. And so now let us move on to Grace. And so here we have uh, the satellite imagery of Grace. And so we're seeing here that it it is a big tropical cyclone that is not very organized as of right now. So at this time, it is in the vicinity of Puerto Rico. And as you're seeing here, we do have some areas of very deep convection, which is marked as you go to the darker red and that's black. That signifies a lot of deep convection. So those are areas where you would have a lot of rainfall. So that is extended over portions of the Virgin Islands as well as Puerto Rico. And the system is going to be making its way over Hispaniola and Cuba. So now let's move on to the cone forecast from the National Hurricane Center. So we see that we have highlighted in blue a tropical storm warning that is in effect for most of the Dominican Republic for Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands and we also have a tropical storm watch which is highlighted in yellow being in place for most of the northern and western section of uh, Hispaniola which is really mainly Haiti and so as I speak about that it's very unfortunate that Grace is going to be heading there because there was an earthquake yesterday in Haiti 7.2 earthquake which is very very unfortunate over 300 persons have lost their lives and many others were injured in the event guys so it is a very unfortunate unfortunate scenario uh, for the Caribbean territory and hopefully Grace does not bring very bad impacts although heavy rainfall is likely and due to the earthquake mudslides are more likely to occur as well guys so please uh, if you're in anywhere in Haiti or in any of the other regions to be affected, please take all the necessary precautions and stay safe. And so even though we're seeing here that Grace is expected to weaken to a depression at the time where it's going to be moving over Haiti, that does not mean the storm is any less dangerous because even though uh, the winds are not very strong, which is really what determines its intensity, the rainfall is going to be plentiful, especially because it is not going to be moving by very quickly. So that heavy rainfall being continuous for a few hours is enough to cause some massive destruction. And in spite of it expected to be weakened into a depression, it's still going to be bringing that rainfall with it. And so it is expected to be uh, to regenerate into a tropical storm by Tuesday as it moves slightly over those warm ocean waters and then cross over Cuba 
of Tuesday going into Wednesday and by Thursday it is expected to emerge into the Gulf of Mexico and so this is where we could have some intensification taking place but fortunately it is expected to, to be accelerating to the northwest much faster when it is going to be emerging into the Gulf of Mexico and so it is seeming as of right now that uh, Texas Louisiana could be in the path of this tropical system here so if you're in any of those two states you want to keep an eye on this even though it is likely that the cold will change because it is still pretty far out from being in the Gulf of Mexico and so changes are inevitable. And so guys, as of right now, as I said, please take all the necessary precautions and stay safe, especially if you are under a tropical storm watch or warning because those conditions are anticipated in your region. And so guys, finally, let us go ahead and take a look at what is currently happening with that new disturbance that we see in the Atlantic Basin. So as of right now, uh, this disturbance is given a 40% chance to develop into a tropical cyclone through both 48 hours and 5 days and it is a new disturbance guys and so it is located just in the northeast of Bermuda and it's going to be moving a bit south and westward as it's going to be out there so it's really going to be loitering at a very slow speed of just around 5 miles per hour and so it is likely to bring some dangerous conditions maybe some very heavy rainfall to Bermuda because it is quite disorganized right now and it is producing some shower and thunder storm activity and also guys if we do have this system developing into a tropical cyclone it is going to be according to the name Henri which is the next name to be used for this hurricane season and so it really has a very limited time because by Tuesday conditions will start to get less and less favorable to support any sorts of development that is to take place with the system here so it really has limited time but sometimes we see these systems come on very quickly we see them develop as brief tropical cyclones and then dissipate so we really have to pay attention to this especially if you're in Bermuda uh, you're likely to be affected with some inclement weather as the system makes its way around and so that is it for this video so again we do have uh, tropical storms Fred and Grace that are imminent threats to land Fred is going to be moving up to the Gulf Coast and we have Grace which is currently making its way across the Caribbean and is going to be bringing life-threatening conditions to portions of the Greater Antilles during the next few days and you also have our disturbance actually designated as Invest 96L which is really loitering around in the vicinity of Bermuda which has the potential to become our next named storm becoming a very brief storm at that and probably acquiring the name Henri if it does so and so please take the sort precautions and stay safe if you're to be affected as I said and if you found this video to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question I'll try to respond as best and as soon as I can and just remember to always be with the wise